Hi, here is a nice harmonic series. We have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 and so on and so forth until you get the last term 1 over n. Okay, we are going to prove this series is a divergent series. Okay, before we start, I would remind you we previously saw this kind of the series 1 over n to the, to the 2 as a 2 as an exponent. We found this series is a convergence, but this time we took 1 over n, but we don't know yet this series is a convergent or divergent, okay? Now let's start with our proof. Let's take the method number one, okay? By assumption, we are going to, to suppose this series is a convergent series, then we find contradiction, okay? Suppose a harmonic series as converges then we have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 and so on and so forth until we get the last term 1 over 2 n okay I'm going to take 1 over 2 as a multiplier so 1 over 2 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 and so on and so forth okay 1 over n equal to 1 over 2 what is this? this is s okay as we mentioned before uh, equal to 1 over s 1 over 2 s okay therefore the other half of this series must be add terms, okay? So s equal to 1 over 2, s even terms, as we, as we have here, plus another half of this series with add terms, okay? But we know 1 over 2 to n minus 1 is strictly superior than 1 over 2 n, okay? This implies, I'm going to apply the sum notation on both sides. So I will have the sum as k goes from 1 to 2n, 1 over 2k minus 1, strictly superior than 1 over 2k as k goes from 1 to n. Okay, this is add sum, this is even sum. This is add terms, this is even terms. But we are not allowed to put plus infinity here on the top as we do in the convergence series because we don't know this series is a convergent or divergent. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the even terms on both sides to see what's giving us. The sum of one over two k minus one as k goes from one to to n plus the sum of 1 over 2k as k goes from 1 to n okay is superior strictly superior than the sum of 1 to k as k goes from 1 to n two times because this one plus this one so this is two terms equal to s which is 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and all the way down until we get the last term. So this term equal to s is strictly superior than 2. If you multiply this one, this one, the sum of 2k, which is 1 over 2, 1 plus 1 over 2, 1 over 3 plus all the way down 1 over n okay this is the even 2 times even terms okay so 2 is multiplied by 1 over 2 which is 1 so this one is s as well okay I have s strictly superior than s which is contra contradiction okay so this one contradiction so that's mean because we suppose this one is a conversion, now we found the contradiction, that's mean S is a divergent. S is a divergent 
move on to the next method. Let's move on to do the next method. So as you see, as you know, s equal to one plus one over two plus one over three plus one over four and all the way down into the last term, which is one over n. Okay. This one equal to the integral from zero to one. One plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth and all the way down until you get the last term which is x to the n okay dx because if you integrate this one it's taking you back to the original series okay this one if you integrate this one is giving you x if you plug one into the x is giving you one with this zero everything everything else become zero because you have zero as a bound if you integrate x to the if you integrate x squared is giving you one over three x to the three with this bound so we will have one over three sin so one until i get the last last term okay this one is written on this form x to the n as n goes from one to plus infinity dx because this one is a convergent series because x between 0 and 1 so this one is a geometry series so 0 1 geometry series is giving us dx over 1 minus x okay if you integrate this one is is giving us natural log is giving us natural log of 1 minus x the bound from 0 to 1 okay but this one must we must be apply the limit here because the limit of natural log of one minus x as x is approaching to one okay but x is approaching number one from the left hand side okay because because this term has must be positive okay so we'll have minus infinity finally s is a divergent so I have done with this problem. Just consider the subscribe. I will see you in next video. Bye.